Hello all, how to find out the number of metal-metal bonds in a given complex? It is our today's topic, okay? So it is very easy here, see here. The formula is very simple. Number of metal-metal bonds is equal to 18 into n minus total valence electron divided by 2, okay? So 18 into n minus total valence electron divided by 2. Here, what is the n? n is the number of metals in the complex, okay? n is nothing but the number of metals in the complex. See, if in this case, m into CO10, how will you find out the total valence electron? Finding out the total valence electron is very easier and we have already seen this in metal clusters, right? So, see here, in this case, 2 manganese is present, right? 2 manganese. Uh, manganese has a valence electron of 7, right? D5, 4S2 configuration. So, it will have valence electron of 7. So, 2 into 7 plus 10 carbonyls. Each carbonyl can donate 2 electrons. So, 10 carbonyl means it is 2 into 10, right? 20. So, 20 plus uh, 14, it is 34. Okay, this is the total valence electron. So, we have find out that the total valence electron is equal to 34. Okay, so now what we have to do? 18 into n. See, it is a very easier one. 18 into, so in order to find out the number of metal metal bonds, 18 into, the number of metal atoms present is 2, right? So, 18 into 2 minus total valence electron is 34 divided by 2. So, what will you get? 18 into 2, it is 36 minus 34 divided by 2. So, you will get 2 by 2, right? 2 by 2 means 1. So, the number of metal metal bonds present in this M MN2CO10 is 1. Only one metal metal bond is present. Okay. This is how you have to find out the number of metal metal bonds in a given complex. Okay. Similarly, because you very well know that the uh, MN2CO10 structure, right? How will it be? MN2CO10, see MN will be like this and it will have 5 carbonyls. Similarly, this will also have 5 carbonyls. So, only one metal metal bond will be present, okay? You can find out the metal metal bond from the given complex itself. So, this formula will be really helpful for you to find out the number of metal metal bonds, okay? Now, in the second complex, Fe3CO12, can you find out the number of metal metal bonds? This is easy, right? So, the valence electron on iron is 8, 8 into 3 because 3 metal atoms plus 12 carbonyl. Each carbonyl can donate 2 electrons, hence it is 2, okay. So, 24 plus 24, it is 48. 48 is a total valence electron, okay. 48 is a total valence electron. Now, you have to find out number of metal metal bonds. So, formula is 18 into n, right. N is here 3. 3 metal atom is present. So, 18 into 3 minus total valence electron is 48. So, 48 divided by 2. Okay. 18 into 3 it is 54 minus 48. So, it is 6, right? 6. So, 6 divided by 2 it is 3. So, the number of metal metal at metal metal bonds uh, in this Fe3CO12 complex is 3. Okay. 3. Similarly, you can find out the metal metal bonds in iridium 4 CO12, right? IR4 CO12 also. Here the number of atoms is 4, metal atom is 4, and the valence electron. See, so iridium comes under cobalt family, okay? Cobalt will have a valence electron of 9, hence, iridium will also have valence electron of 9. So, 4 into 9, it is 36, and 12 carbonyl. So, 12 into 2, it is 24, okay? So, the total valence electron count will be 36 plus 24, it is 60. Okay, 60. Now, the number of metal metal bonds is equal to 8 into n minus total valence electron divided by 2. So, 18 into the number of metal atom here is 4, right? So, 4 minus total valence electron count is 60 divided by 2. Right? 60 divided by 2. So, what will you get? 18 into 4, it is 72, minus 60 divided by 2, hence 12 by 2, which is equal to 6, okay? This IR4CO12, this question has been uh, asked in previous year, okay? I think uh, 
3 to 4 times they have asked the same complex okay IR for CO12 this is very important example so so far we have seen some basic complexes now we are moving towards the previous year questions okay okay these are the three previous year questions that we are going to solve okay first of all in the first question see the WW bond order in this complex okay bond order means it is nothing but the number of bonds okay number of bonds is bond order so we have to find out the number of metal metal bonds okay so what's this complex w eta phi c phi h phi mu cl co2 twice okay twice now we are going to solve this right what we have to do what's the valence electron of tungsten lanthanum hafnium tantalum tungsten okay it will have valence electron of 6 okay 6 next you are having eta phi c phi h phi i told you eta phi means 5 electrons okay 5 electrons so it will donate 5 then mu chlorine in bridging position mu means bridging so in bridging position mu uh, chlorine will donate 3 electrons okay 3 electrons then 2 carbonyl is present 1 carbonyl can donate 2 electrons but here 2 carbonyl hence it will donate 4 electrons okay here it is given as twice okay so you have to multiply by 2 right now what will you get 6 plus 5 it is 11 plus 3 14 so 36 okay because 18 you will get okay 18 2 into 18 it will be 36 now we have calculated the total valence electron as 36 okay total valence electron equal to 36 so in order to find out the number of metal metal bonds what we have to do 18 into n minus total valence electron divided by 2 right so here the number of metals given is cw twice so which means two metal right two metal atom two tungsten is present hence 18 into 2 minus total valence electron count is 36 divided by 2 so 18 into 2 it is 36 36 minus 36 divided by 2 will be 0 hence the number of metal metal bonds present in this given complex w eta phi c phi h phi mu cl co twice the whole twice okay for this the number of metal metal bond is 0 okay they have no metal metal bonds hence the option will be d okay option d is the right answer next the number of metal metal bonds present in ir4 co12 ir4 co12 so for this it is very easy right ir4 co12 what will you do valence electron first of all you have to calculate the total valence electron right so total valence electron iridium will have a valence electron of 9 this carbonyl will donate two electrons so 36 plus 24 it is 60 okay so now the total valence electron is 60 total valence electron is 60 number of metal metal bonds formula 18 into n minus total valence electron divided by 2 okay so 18 into metal atom 4 minus total valence electron is 60 divided by 2 okay so now what will you get it is 72 minus 60 divided by 2 12 divided by 2 so you will get 6 okay 6 metal metal bonds are present in ir4 co12 okay this is how you have to find out the number of metal metal bonds See, it is very simple first step you have to find out the total valence electron after that substitute in the formula 8 into number of metal atoms minus total valence electron divided by 2 okay you will get the number of val uh, metal metal bonds right so here in this case it is 6 okay it is 6 now the molybdenum molybdenum bond order in eta phi c phi h phi mo co2 twice okay in addition to that they have given you which obeys 18 electron rule i will uh, upload a detailed video about 18 electron rule okay but now see in this case it is very easy if you even don't know about 18 electron rule you can easily solve this question see in this case eta phi c phi h phi will give you 5 electrons and molybdenum uh, it is it will give 6 okay its valence electron is 6 because uh, 
Deuterium, Zirgonium, Niobium, Molybdenum. Molybdenum will have valence electron of 6. Now, 2 carbonyl can donate 4 electrons, right? 5 plus 6 plus 4 into 2 because they have given you as twice, right? So, 2. What will you get? 5 plus 6, 11 plus 4, 15. 15 into 2, it is 30, okay? The total valence electron will be 30, right? Total valence electron will be 30. Now, what's the formula? 18 into N minus total valence electron divided by 2, okay? So, 18 into the uh, number of metal is twice, okay? Molybdenum twice, which means 2, right? So, 18 into 2 minus the total valence electron is 30 divided by 2. So, here you will get 36 minus 30 divided by 2. So, you will get the answer as 3, okay? The MO, MO bond order in this complex is actually 3, right? This is how you have to find out the number of metal metal bonds, okay? This is the question for you, okay? You are going to solve the answers for these questions. The number of metal metal bonds in CO to CO8, Fe to CO9, eta 5 c 5 hy that is Cp, cyclopentadienyl ligand and, okay, you are going to solve and find out the answer for this number of metal metal bonds in these complexes, okay? So, you try to share your answers in the comment section so that uh, I can check whether it is correct or not, right? And one more thing, uh, you, now I have told you how to find out the number of metal metal bonds. And the question may be like this also, metal metal bonds per atom, okay, per atom. For that, you have to use this formula. 18 minus valence electron divided by N. See, in case of Fe3CO12, we have found, find out, right? Fe3CO12. First of all, how to find out metal metal bonds? It is simple. 18 into number of metal atoms, 3 minus the valence electron, total valence electron, right? So, in this case, it is, uh, for IN, it is 8 valence electron. So, 3 metal atoms are there. 8 into 3, it is 24, right? 24. Then here also 12 into 2, it is 24, okay, divided by 2. This is the formula to calculate metal metal bonds, right? Now, 54 minus 48 divided by 2, which is equal to 6 by 2 and 3. Now, we have found out, find out that um, metal metal bonds, total number of metal metal bonds in Fe3CO12 is 3, okay? Total number of metal bonds in Fe3CO12 is 3 but the metal metal bonds per atom see in this case it is very simple if I give you the structure okay so see in this case ion will be like this Fe 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 we have find out that three metal bonds this is one metal bond this is one metal bond and this is one metal bond right and uh, here there will be carbonyl Okay, this is how the structure will be. These are all carbonyls. Okay, these are all carbonyls. This is the structure of Fe3CO12. But the, now the question is how many number of metal metal bonds per atom, per metal atom. For this metal atom, actually there are three metal bonds, right? Per atom means for one metal atom, how many bonds are there? Metal metal bonds. This is one metal metal bond. This is one metal metal bond, right? So two metal metal atoms, two metal metal bonds per atom, okay? Two metal metal bonds per atom. Totally, there are three metal metal bonds in a given complex metal cluster, okay? But per atom means for one atom, it is having two metal metal bonds, okay? In order to calculate this, in order to find out the number of metal metal bonds per atom. In this case, it is very simple because we know the structure. We can directly, uh, looking at the structure, we can tell that there are two metal metal bonds. Suppose if they are asking for iridium for CO12, what will you do? You don't know the structure, right? So, you can use this formula. 18 minus valence electron divided by N, right? So, see the same, for the same structure, I am going to work it out in this formula. 18 minus valence electron by N, right? Valence electron, what is the valence electron for this Fe3CO12? It is 48, right? 48 is the valence electron. 48 
divided by n means number of metal atoms. It is 3 metal atoms, right? 3. Okay. Now, what will you do? 16. So, 18 minus 16 will be 2, right? This is how you can calculate the metal metal bonds per atom. Okay. Don't confuse these two. If they are asking simply the metal metal bonds, okay, metal metal bonds, then the formula will be 18 into n minus total valence electron divided by 2. Okay. Using this formula, you can find out the metal metal bonds present in the complex or cluster. But if you want to find out the metal metal bonds per atom, okay, metal metal bonds per atom, then only you can use the formula 18 minus valence electron divided by n okay okay i hope you will be clear with these concepts and you try to find out the answer for these three okay just try to find out the answer that how many number of uh, metal metal bonds will be present in these three okay try to share your answers i hope this video will be helpful for you if you find this video helpful then kindly subscribe and share with your friends stay tuned thank you so much for watching